Hello happy people, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to collect donations or any kind of payments using WP Forms and Stripe. Now that means that the payments you collect on your website using WP Forms and your Stripe integrations will be going straight to your Stripe account. Now when people pay you, you'll automatically be receiving your payments within Stripe. So to get started, we are going to go back to our website. We are going to come here over to plugins and we should add a plugin called WP Forms. And in this case, we will need the pro version of WP Forms because the Stripe integration is only available in WP Forms Pro. So once your WP Forms plugin is installed, you simply come over here to the WP Forms and simply come straight to settings. And then make sure that you've actually added your license and it's activated. Now, once you are done with that, we are going to go straight to our forms. So we come back here, come to all forms. And we are going to create a donation form. So these are already some forms I've already created. But by default, WP Forms actually brings you a default form, uh, which is actually a contact form, which will be over right here. But in this case, I'm going to create a new form. Then actually WP Forms will also list for me, like if I want to start using a blank form, a simple contact form, a request form, I mean these are already pre-made templates. So I'm going to use a pre-made template that is a donation form. So create donation form. As we wait for that to load up, when you come over here to our form, you realize that we have the name fields, we have the email fields, we have the donation amount someone is going to donate to us. And we have the Stripe credit card or your credit card number, which would basically fit in over here. And then over here, there is where you have to put the date of expiry and of your card and the CVV. And then the name of the card, that's what you type over there. And then in case you have a special request, you type it over here and then you simply say donate. And when someone donates from here, they will be charged from their account and the donation will come to your Stripe account. Now we go back to our forms and uh, once our form has imported here it will prompt us and ask us to click on the payments tab to configure our payment provider we simply close this so we have the name field we have the email field the donation amount and we have this message field the message field is what we basically renamed to special request and we made it to be required when we come back to here to our form fields we select this form and it has to be required means it has that red star or the asks icon and then uh, right here is basically where i rename our label to something like special request the other thing i have to show you is that if i want to change the, the amount someone has to enter in over here whether it's a user defined amount or like a specific amount you want people to donate you can set it over here like there is one that is user defined that is what someone enters in there's a single item whereby you can say i want someone to donate a specific price let me say 50 dollars if you basically want people to send you specific amounts of maybe 50 dollars that's what you have to do if you want to hide your form you can simply do that over here or you can actually add other payment options which are actually like checkboxes and all now let me come over here to fields and you come down here to the payment fields there is single item there is multiple items drop down items checkbox items and you can do all that over there now for example let me add for you the checkbox item you see now we have over here the checkbox fields we can simply drag these over to position them and let me say we want people to donate for example to child sponsorship and uh, maybe tuition and maybe down here you want uh, food so people can donate uh, something for child sponsorship maybe 150 dollars and uh, tuition they can pay maybe that is uh, this is going to be per term or per semester Okay, and this can be something like $30 and for food they can maybe donate like $15 that is per month you can also specify that over here and over here you can choose to use images to uh, symbolize what you basically meaning over here I'm not going to go into that you can either delete this field or you can add a new field by clicking on any of these you can 
make this to be required that someone actually has to donate once they get to this form okay now uh, here you can describe your form and say kindly choose any or all to donate something of that sort and they i'm done with this form and over here i can say our program causes okay then when we come back here to uh, the fields we can select and say delete this field so that that means that we'll have removed that field now it means that when someone comes over here to our donation form they enter in their names and their email and then uh, they will choose whether to donate for only child sponsorship or tuition or food or all of them and automatically down here we can uh, for example show the total so let me come back over here and then say total by clicking on the total item or the total field then we can have that over here drag it just below the program so that when someone selects all these automatically the total will show up over here you can rename that you can change the label and uh, you can you know make it required or whatever so i'll simply remove this i don't need it and um, i'm going now to change the button over here for example we want to show like for example pay or donate with stripe so we're going to come over here to settings and we're going to just come over here to the submit button and say donate with stripe okay we can change the form name from donation form to let me say go to its project okay and then you can also add here a description of your a form and on sending when someone clicks on donate with stripe this is what would show so we can change it to something like donating or redirecting we can enable the anti-spam honeypot uh, which actually limits uh, robots from using this form the other thing we can do is for example we can enable notifications that whenever someone uses this form we will actually receive a notification via email to our website and uh, if you simply turn them off that means that you won't receive any emails once someone uses this form but the good thing is that you also receive a notification via stripe in case someone makes a donation to you i'll simply leave this on and uh, down here you can add uh, the notification message once someone has used the form what should show up upon them using the form for example they, you can show a message you can show a page that is available on your website by selecting over here the page okay this is an already created page or you can actually redirect them to a specific url maybe a thank you page or maybe to another website all that goes back to what you want but i prefer to show a message and say thank you for donating to our causes we will update you on future projects or causes something of that sort and there we are good to go so down here it says automatically scroll to the confirmation message now when you click over here donate with stripe automatically it will scroll and then it will show the confirmation message or the thank you message now next that we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the payments tab but before we go to the payments tab let's come back here to the fields and make sure that we have all the fields we change our form name we have our names over here maybe if you don't want people to basically give you both the names you can simply select the name field come over here to the format and select simple and automatically you ask people to enter in their full name let me say full name as the field label and automatically someone will enter in their full name and you're good to go so what we're going to do now simply just come over here to the payments tab and we're going to click on stripe and we say install and activate now at this process wp forms installs an add-on or a plugin that they develop and that plugin helps you integrate straight with stripe so what i'm going to do is save and refresh the page okay now once the page has reloaded when we come over here to the stripe page they tell us to use stripe payments you need to add a credit card to the field form okay so now we're going to go back to the fields and now when we come over here to the payments you are going to see we have a new field called stripe credit card so we'll select that and it will be added to our form just like this and we are going to simply drag this 
to over here okay and that means that someone will enter in their card details and uh, the card name and maybe also add a special request let me come over here and make the special request you know optional but for the card it should stay just like as it is and uh, we can change this and say enter your card details and then down over here there are some additional options you can use uh, the field to be medium small large maximum depending on how you want it to be i prefer the medium and you can choose to hide the labels okay or even the sub labels like the cards and all that i prefer to leave them on default now next what i'm going to do is simply now to save our form now, once you save the form, we are going to get this notification and say Stripe must be enabled when using the Stripe credit card field. To proceed, please go to payments, Stripe and enable the Stripe payments. Now we say OK. And then the other thing that you actually, before we leave this window, we have to come back over here to the settings options and we have to enable the Ajax form submission because it is strongly advised that you enable this when you're going to start collecting credit card details so we simply save say okay and i'm going to come over here to another page and i'm going to come to our wp forms and i'm going to come to settings under settings i'm going to come over here to payments and under payments you have to make sure that you integrate or click over here so at the moment i've already integrated my swipe account with WP forms and then it will redirect you to Stripe and then later you'll be able to activate your Stripe on your WP forms website. It's a very simple process and once it is enabled you see this green tick over here and over here you can select to collect any currency that you want. In this case I'll leave it in US dollars and there I'm good to go. So once you are done integrating your Stripe with WP forms by clicking on the blue button that you'll see over here then you can either enable to uh, test your form it means that someone will not be actually uh, having to pay anything once they are using this form or when you leave it to be in the live mode that means that people are able to use this form and send you donations or payments straight to your stripe account and then their credit cards will be charged in this case i want to leave it in the testing environment i simply update when i update then I'm going to come right down here to my pages or any page that I want. Come over here to pages and then I'll open up my services page with Elementor. You see, I had already opened up here a service page and then we had this form that we created earlier on and uh, we had the special request as a required form. Now what we are going to do, we are going to come right straight here. We add a new section and under the new section, we are simply going to use either a short code widget by dragging over here our shortcode widget and coming over here to the form builder and then we come over here to the embed and copy the shortcode come here to our Elementor website or page and we paste our shortcode that means that now we'll be able to have our form show up on our Elementor website so when we say apply this will kind of apply our changes so we say uh, preview the page so it will open us up in a new page and then now you realize that we have our form field over here, name, email. So we can collect the name, the email, and then we, someone can choose to donate maybe only for the child sponsorship, or they can choose to uh, donate to the food, or they can choose to donate to the term or tuition, and they can even choose to donate to all of them. And if you had added over here, the total uh, field, of course, it will show all the total someone is going to be paying at the end of the day, which I think is something also that should be shown on this form. So let me just come back over here to our form. I'm going to come to the fields. I'm going to come to add fields and I'm going to add a total field. By clicking over here on the total field, then I'll have it over here suggested. I just simply drag it up over there and I save. This is okay. Now, when I come back over here, I'm going to preview our page and we should have our total option now show up over here. Now, when I click on food, you see, boom, the food amount shows up. 
when we click on tuition boom the tuition amount shows up child sponsorship shows up now if i want all of them now this actually gives an idea on someone who is donating how much they are actually going to be donating at the end of the day now the red linings over here show that actually our credit card field or someone is not able to make real-time payments because yes that's what we chose but if we come back here to our pages and come to wp forms and we come to settings we can come back here to the payments option and then we enable this that means that our stripe form will be live on the website now when i save changes i come back here to our page then i preview our page once you preview your page, when your uh, account is live, then that means that people will be able to actually make a payment over here without having any issues. Now, the other option on how to add these same WP forms is basically adding a new section and coming over here and we search for WP forms and we can use this add-on over here. It is made by the plus add-ons for Elementor and you can basically select your form that you created from a drop-down over here. And boom then your form will show up on your page you can choose to style it up any way that you want let me say I want to use percentages and i want it to take at the top uh, maybe five percent and 15 and 15 both sides when i preview this page you see that now my styling has taken effect up i have five percent and down i have five percent and now this is the previous form that we had i'm simply going to delete this section we now i preview the page you realize that i don't have now the other form show up so now we have finished adding our form on our website and someone is able to select the program they want to donate to they are able to see the amount once your Stripe form is live, you'll have the option to add your credit card number over here. And then someone will be able to actually add their expiry date and then also the CVV and then the names of the credit card, you know, of the person donating. And boom, they'll be able to simply donate using their Stripe card or using or paying using Stripe. Then that means that someone will be able to use their credit card and then you'll be able to receive the payment in your Stripe account. Before I close up, uh, maybe you are not using Elementor and maybe you are using a normal page on, in Gutenberg. What you have to do is simply come over here to pages. You will add a new page or in an existing page that you have. Then you can simply say donations. And when you come over here to the block section, you simply click add a new block. And you either use a short code block or you can simply use the WP Forms block. And you can select the form that you already have over here because we already created our form, which is GoTutes project. And boom, our form shows up here on our website. Okay. And someone is able to simply donate. When I preview this, this is how it looks like. And the page is already available using Gutenberg in WordPress. In a nutshell, that's how you can collect your donations or payments on your WordPress website using Stripe that has been integrated in your WordPress website using WP Forms Pro. Thank you so much for watching. In case you have any questions or comments, please let me know down in the comment box below. Otherwise, have a good time and goodbye.